Verifying a solution to a differential equation. Often we want to verify a given solution to a differential equation. To do this, we basically use differentiation and substitution. But often there might be some unknown pronumerals in there. So for example, if y equals x times e to the minus 3x satisfies the differential equation d2y dx squared plus m dy dx plus ny equals 0, determine or find the values of m and n. Let's define our variable. We're not going to plot it, so we'll just go menu, actions, define, and I'll just call it y of x because it is a function, and it's x times. Now we definitely need the times here. Uh, e to the power of minus 3 times x. Okay, we can do all of this in one step now. I want the second derivative. So if we hit the little template next to the book command, scroll across till we find the second derivative, d2x of y of x, so we must type in y of x here, notice it appears bold because it is a predefined variable, plus m times the first derivative, so let's hit the template again, this time we want to get the first derivative, d by dx of y of x, plus n times y of x. Now, if that was equal to zero, then we know that minus 3m plus n plus 9 equals zero, because that's the coefficient of x, and also m minus 6 is equal to zero. So we're going to have to solve this command equal to zero for both m and n. So menu, algebra, solve. Let's just grab that expression again. We probably won't need that part of it. We want to solve this expression equals zero, put in a space, and m minus six equals zero, and we want to solve that for m and n. And the brackets were all okay, so the solution is m equals six and n equals nine, satisfies that differential equation. Okay, let's have a look at solving now some first order differential equations. Remember we've got two possibilities in solving a first order differential equation. We can either have what's called a general solution or we can have a particular solution. So let's look at first of all an example of a solving a first order differential equation. Say for example we want to find the general solution of the differential equation dy dx equals 3y. To solve differential equations, we go menu, calculus, and then come down to differential equation solver, DE solver. So we get DE solve. So DE solve, now we're going to solve DE solve y dashed. To get the dashed, you're going to have to go down to the uh, template under the enter sign and scroll across till you get the little dash command. So DE solve Y dashed equals 3 times Y comma independent variable X comma dependent variable Y. So that'll give me Y equals C1E to the 3X as a general solution. Notice that it involves an unknown parameter, C1 there. All right, let's have a look at how we're going to solve a particular solution here. dy dx equals 2y plus 5 all squared, given that y of 2 is equal to 1. Sometimes we might have to rearrange these to make y the subject. Sometimes it will solve us for it. Menu, calculus, come down till you find differential equation solver, option number D, type in Y dashed equals 2 times Y, 
plus 5 all squared. Now this time we're going to give an initial condition. So we actually have to type in the word AND. So we're going to have to press space and actually type in the word AND, A-N-D, space, Y of 2 equals 1, comma, X, comma, Y. That's the syntax. So that gives me my particular solution. No arbitrary constants involved there because that solution will satisfy the condition that when X is equal to 2, Y is equal to 1. OK, we'll do another example. Let's find the general solution of the first order differential equation dy dx equals f of x times g of y with y of x0 equal to y0. Notice that a particular solution has to be found here and that's because we are enabling the constant of integration to be found. This is the variable separable type which is a very, very common exam type question now. Only been introduced into the syllabus a couple of years ago. OK, so let's solve the differential equation. dy dx plus y equals 6xy, x, 6x squared times y with y of 2 equals 1. Once again, on a calculator page, press menu, calculus, option number D, differential equation solver. Notice that the differential equation doesn't have to be in a particular form. It doesn't have to be dy dx equals. It can be just y dy dx plus y equals 6x squared times y. If we had to do this one by hand, it is variable separable. We have an initial condition, so let's type in the word and, making sure we've got a space either side of it. Typing in the initial condition, y of 2 equals 1, comma, x, comma, y. So this gives me the solution y equals e to the 2x cubed minus x minus 14.